Hello, this is Stacy with Sit Stay with Stacy Slade. Please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to be updated about new videos coming out. This is our um, installment for how to use Burner Guard. Uh, this is probably the first step of what you're looking up, how to look it up, um, and what you can find on Burner Guard if you're researching a puppy, if you're researching a specific breeder, or if you're just trying to learn how to uh, look your own dog up and see what their pedigree and health clearances are behind them. So I'll switch over to my computer to show you how to do this, how to look up a dog. So first go to the Burner Guard Foundation website, which is burnerguard.org listed here. This is the homepage, cute pictures of puppies and bunnies on the front page. And it, you can navigate around into the site from here to learn it. The biggest thing that I do is one reminder to use Amazon Smile for Burner Guard fundraising. But I go to go to the database, this big red button up here. There's other places to go um, down for the database down here. But I just go up to click, go to the da database. So this is how I'm going to look up a dog. So welcome to the Bernese Mountain Dog open database. If I'm just looking up a dog, I'm going to go to dogs up here in the top left. Click on that and type in a call name, a registered name, if you have a registration number from a breeder, um, and there's other information that you might have. A breeder might actually give you the Burner Guard dog ID so you can look it up there. So let's say you don't have any of this, and we're gonna, use, we're gonna stick with my dogs. So let's say I'm breeding, I'm gonna breed Deuce to a dog, and I wanna look up Deuce. So I'm just, all I know is Deuce. So I'm going to type in the name Deuce. So all of a sudden, a bunch of dogs come up. They all have the call name Deuce, the registration names, they have their whelp date. So I could probably exclude some of these that are born a lot later that probably are not alive because they are shown as deceased here. So I'm still not sure which Deuce is the one I'm looking for. Um, but I can, you can go into each one and take a look at who they are owned by. Hopefully know the AKC registered name, which my dog Deuce is Chalinas Dempsey, named after Clint Dempsey, those of you who like soccer. So going in, all of a sudden I click on his name and voila, here is Deuce. So it has his name, his registered name, his call name, his AKC registration to verify who he is, his Danish registration because he's from Denmark. His dad, who is a link, I can click to his dad's profile. His mother, it tells me he's a male. All the information that is put on here by his owner or his breeder um, is here. His date of birth is right here. His coefficient of inbreeding is right here. Uh, and his litter data. So, and it just, it all of it is right here for you. It has all of the recommended health testing. He has a gold star signa signaling that the correct BMDCA health testing has been done. All of it has been done for Deuce. And the bonus is he has photos here. You can see different photos and click through this to see him. You can check his relatives, his litters, health, any health information, which he has none. Usually health information includes ages and causes of death or surgeries, um, or any ailments, uh, diseases that they've struggled with in their life. Fortunately, he seems like a healthy dog. Here you click, you can see all the litters he've ha he's had, especially you can see the health, data the health data on puppies that he's had. These guys don't have health data yet because they're too young. They were whelped in 2021. So again, a quick little oversight how to find a dog and, um, we're going to stop there at that small piece of information on just how to find a dog. The next piece I want to show is we're going to go back home is how to find people is you can come up here to people and find people. So if I want to find a, someone named Stacy Slade, I type in Slade and look, there's a couple of Slades, but only one Stacy. I click on her name and there she is. So it only has the last part of your address. It's hidden, so you couldn't find my total address, my phone number, my email. Um, so all that stuff is right there. Uh, it shows you that I am a BMDCA, which is Bernie's Mountain Dog Club of America member since 05. Shows I'm current. And you could see what other clubs I am a member of. I'm a member of the Canadian Club, of the Greater Seattle Club, 
no one else is in my household, and how many litters I have bred. You can also see how many dogs I've owned. Um, something to note, it, note is uh, this is a good indication of how many dogs reside with me. Um, as it is current, I only three reside with me. These that have resided with me are since past, and these other dogs that don't reside with me are likely co-owned dogs I've bred or co-bred that I own with others and they live elsewhere. That's an in important distinction. So that's how you find people. Um, and you can always look up litters if you want to know of a litter, like I will look up Slade, let's look up Frenzy's litter. So here's the litters that I'm associated with. And if I wanted to look up Frenzy, you'd have to know her birth date or who her sire or dam was. It's gonna be one of these and we look up that one. Oh, nope, that's Hazy. So that came before Frenzy. I'm just gonna hit the back button, go to the other deuce and chase litter. And there's Frenzy right there. So I can click on her and find Frenzy. So, um, that's a long and short how to find people and how to find dogs. So now let's go into what to look for. Why are you looking up these dogs? Well, if you're looking up, for example, Frenzy, since we're on this record, you're going to want to look up her health clearances, which are right here front and center. They are also um, on health. Any information on the health is down here if she's had any diseases or um, ailments or anything beyond that. But otherwise, you're looking right here for the health information. So what I look for is this is her uh, Gensol DM is clear normal. Doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's there, you know that person is committed to breeding healthier dogs. You can make, you can discuss with the breeder later what these are. So I have Von Willebrands, which is this, another Gensol test. Her eyes were done and they were done in 2021. Her heart was done by a cardiologist, which is important. Um, none of these tests are done by general vets. These are swab tests that are sent into Gensol. So that's who does the, the test, runs the test. I did the swab on Frenzy. Eyes, heart, elbows, and hips are done by vets who know what they're doing or are board certified. So Dr. Paul Shirley is a board certified ophthalmologist. Um, Pacific Veterinary Cardiology was a board certified cardiologist who uh, proved her heart was clear. So what does this mean, this preliminary? Well, Frenzy is not two years old. So OFA gives a preliminary status to any hip and elbow clearance to dogs that are between one years and two years old. So I can take a peek and see what they are, but What's really important is once she turns two years old, which I can see that in July 1st of 2022, she'll turn two years old and you would want these to say final. So final hip and elbow. They do change. They don't necessarily stay the same as preliminary. So it's an important distinction. Histiopretest from Antigene is a histiopretest is a genetic indication that we use for breeding decisions on a different database as breeders. But the fact that it has uh, that frenzy shows that she's tested is important. It means that the breeder, myself, is committed towards breeding healthier dogs and to know what the health is of the dogs I am breeding. So we're going to go back to Deuce here. So Deuce, you can see that he has prelims of hips and elbows, and he has finals. I wanted to show you guys what that looked like for the final uh, hip and elbow test. So his happened to stay the same, which was fantastic. So this is a little bit about what I look up on a dog. The next thing I look up is how many litters a dog has had. So I switched to Deuce because he's had litters. So if I'm looking to get a puppy out of Deuce, I want to take a look at his other litters to see if there's any health information on the puppies he's had. And the uh, information is incomplete because his puppies aren't two years old. So Frenzy is the next litter to get final information and that will be done um, this summer. So the three litters in front of her, um, Hazy is a singleton. She had all of her information done and you've got some additional information here with elbows, uh, hips, and we don't have eyes or heart or DM on these litters, but we'll be getting that. And then this litter has some prelims 
that will be get updating to finals uh, shortly as well. So that's the type of information you want to look at and make sure you can verify that dogs, what they're producing and what they're breeding. The other thing I go to is relatives right here is I want to see his dad is, oh, okay, so his dad had mild hip dysplasia. So I'm curious as to what his dad has produced and what his siblings have. So it's actually his full siblings of Deuce are pretty average in the hip. So, okay, I just note that. Elbows all look fantastic. So it's something with Bernese, you need to be aware of what's back there. There's not really perfect health um, outlook on dogs. You just need to know what's, about, what's back there and talk to the breeder about what their thoughts are. When I bred Deuce, I bred him to a line that had really good hips and elbows. So the relatives, I'll go, so I looked at what he's producing. I see photos of him, big, beautiful dog. Oh, he drafts, that's great to know. I can look at his titles. So he has quite a few titles. That's important to me that a dog is versatile, that uh, can prove that it can do things out in with other people around and, and can exist in an environment. Looked into studies, oh, he participated in the tissue and blood repository, so that's fantastic. Um, no health issues of note that have been input. He has his litters, his relatives, and photos. So this is the long and short of how to look at this dog if I wanted to find out who owns him. Oh look, Stacy Slade and Carol Arbuthnot own him and his breeders are Christina and Fee in Denmark. Oh, he's from Denmark, very cool. Here's his pedigree and all of these are clickable links to go see parents, grandparents, great grandparents. You can look at the pedigrees in different views. So there's a pictorial view of pedigrees, which I find very cool. So you can see what dogs behind them look like. And if you like that look of dogs that, you know, genetics are, are strong, the dogs you'll get out of this pedigree are probably going to be very similar to this dog. So going back to the database, you can also look at his coefficient of inbreeding, which is an eight, and look at the percent blood of the dogs behind him and who has contributed to his pedigree. So hopefully that's a good brief overview of what I'm looking for in Bernergaard. With people, I'm looking for, I'm gonna go down to myself. With people, I'm looking for how many litters they bred, how often, how many litters in a year they breed, if they're contributing to Bernergaard. Um, it's super important that they put in for information on Bernergaard. It's not all going to be perfect. This is a breed that has many health issues. So it's just a matter of the instances that they're open and honest about it. Um, and they're putting the information out there for anybody to take a look at, whether they're looking at puppies, looking at breeding to the dog, or curious about getting involved with them. I also look at how many times they've bred a female. Um, it looks like I bred one female twice, another one twice, and chased twice, and the couple one time. So that raises no alarms for me. If I see a female that's been bred, you know, six or seven times, I might wonder. Uh, also the age that the female was born, how many litters they had, um, if they were bred back to back uh, multiple times. I don't mind a back to back breeding once, but then you want to give her a break. So this is also where you could get information to contact people. Hopefully that's helpful um, and gives you a little insight of to how I use Burner Guard and uh, the things that you can look up. Thank you for using Burner Guard and starting to learn how to contribute to the health and prosperity of our breed for the future to make sure that we are making better decisions with breeding, owning dogs, and contributing to the breeders that are trying to breed healthier puppies in our breed. Please let me know if you have any questions. Happy to help. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please put your dog into Burner Guard. The more dogs that are in the database and more information that is there, the better for all of us within the breed. Thank you so much for listening.